I'm going with the fancy as yeah, better clue, there you go. What's going on Chemical Guys family? Today we're gonna to be covering the topic of the detailing flowchart. Now why this is so important is because a lot of people get confused on what products to use or when to use them. So today we're gonna to break down the entire process to help us all flow through the entire detailing experience as easily and as smoothly as possible. Now the most important process is going to be the wash and this is your first step. This is going to remove the layer of dirt, abrasive particles of grime, bird droppings, or anything that can land on the surface of the vehicle. And it's important to remove this as gently as possible so that we're not inducing any scratches or swirls. Now, whenever you're using your favorite soap, you can use it in a traditional two bucket wash method. You can use it in a foam gun or a foam cannon. Using a foam gun or a foam cannon is gonna give you that thicker layer of suds which help to lubricate the surface. And this further reduces the chances of adding any additional scratches or swirls. And also this is going to be a great time to inspect the paint to determine what's gonna be the next step in the process. Because now that you've removed that dirt that's been hiding scratches, it's been hiding contamination, now you're gonna get down to the real steps of detailing where we move on to clay bar, which removes the embedded contaminants, rail dust, brake dust, any kind of former contaminants that have embedded the pores of the paint. And we have four different grades here of our clay bar. We have our light for a newer vehicle or a routinely detailed vehicle, the OG for a car that let's say between six months and a year was its last clay bar, a medium, which is for most vehicles where it hasn't been clay barred in a couple of years, or a heavy, which is more for cars that have been completely neglected and something that you need to really dig deep to get the foreign contaminants and all that kind of grime that gives your paint that rough feel and that rough look to get it off of the surface and restore that flawless finish. Now to properly lubricate your clay bar, you want to use a dedicated lubricant such as clay luber. Now what this does is it helps to glide your clay bar, your clay mitt, or your clay block against the surface so that you're not causing any kind of marring, but it's also cleaning at the same time. So as you clay, you're going to see the embedded contaminants come up and it's going to start turning brown and milky, but you want to make sure that that safely carries off the surface. So clay luber has a lot of encapsulators that help to gently carry anything that's abrasive off of the surface so that again, it's not scratching. And then we can move on to our next step, which is going to be really digging deep and also inspecting your paintwork because now that the surface is nice and clean, you can see all the kinds of imperfections that were hidden before. And that's why you want to inspect it with a light or you can see it outside in the direct sunlight where you see those spider webs or swirls. And that brings us to our polishing step. Now here we have our V-line set up and this is something that we've broken down in a few videos. So if you want more in depth about that, check it out on the channel. But for today, we're gonna to go over the process of determining which one to use and how to use it. Whenever you're using a polish or a compound, you can use it with your favorite rotary or dual action polisher. If you're new to polishing or new to detailing in general, I recommend using a dual action or a random orbital. And the reason for this is because one, it's a lot easier to use and two, it's much more forgiving than a rotary would be. And that's because it's going to remove less paint. It creates less heat than a rotary would do because it's going to spread out the heat and diminish the polish in a very different way than a rotary would. Now, if you have some experience with rotaries or detailing in general, it's a very quick way to polish or restore the shine of your vehicle using a rotary polisher and it's also a great way to get a professional result. So starting off with V32, this is for your really deep scratches and swirls that go through your clear coat down to your base coat or just some really heavy oxidation. This is something that you would use with either a yellow Hexlogic pad or possibly an orange Hexlogic pad. So what this is gonna use is an aggressive abrasive, which helps to diminish the clear coat and refine that flawless finish. But typically you can't finish with a compound, so you need to step it down to something like V34. And again, this is something you can use on a vehicle that has moderate scratches and swirls, or if you're going to refine your V32 scratches. This uses a less aggressive abrasive, which helps to refine that clear coat even further. And then working your way down, you have V36. Now, typically on a car that has light scratches and swirls, this is where we recommend to start because it's going to remove the least amount of clear coat because I've said it before in other videos, but I'll say it again. Your clear coat doesn't regrow, it doesn't regenerate. So the more you take off by using an aggressive compound first or you know, multiple polishing steps, it's, it's never gonna come back. So you wanna start with the least aggressive approach. This way you have as much clear coat for the life of the vehicle without having to repaint it. And then lastly, we have our V38, which is just a jeweling polish to help bring out the luster of your vehicle. So let's say you just went through all these steps. This is a final step that clears up any kind of hazing or marring or tiger striping, depending on how your polishing technique was done. And then lastly, you wanna use Wipeout. Now this is an optional step, but I recommend using it because this is going to remove any kind of oils or residue that could have been left on the surface. And you wanna make sure that before you put any kind of coatings on that the car is completely flawless now. Now that you put on all that time to polish it, you wanna make sure that there's nothing left on there that's going to hide a scratch or it'll make it harder for your coatings to bond to. So Wipeout thoroughly cleans the surface to ensure that the car is exactly the way that it's supposed to be and it's gonna give you that best finish overall. And now moving down the line here, we have our ceramic coatings. Now these are our newer products. You have your Hydro Charge and your Hydro Slick. 
And if you're gonna use these two in tandem, you wanna start with your hydro charge, which adds a film of ceramic spray. And this is going to help give your car that overall deeper gloss. It also has leveling agents to give your car a smoother finish. And it's also gonna enhance the gloss of your vehicle while giving you a durable layer of protection. Now, if you bond it with your hydro slick, what this is going to do is this brand new hyper wax adds a very long lasting durable shine, which helps to also repel water spots. The hydrophobic properties in there will help to make it difficult for anything to land on the surface and adhere. So this keeps your car looking cleaner for longer while also giving you a deeper shine. Now, when you're applying your favorite ceramic coatings, unfortunately, these are going to be hand application only, but this ensures that you're covering the surface evenly and you're not getting any on the trim or areas that it shouldn't be. Now, if you choose to skip over the ceramic steps or if you want to enhance your ceramic, you can also apply your favorite glazes. Now what these do is they mask any minor scratches and swirls. So if you have a brand new car or a car that has very fine scratches and swirls and you've skipped over the polishing step, but you still want to give your car a very smooth finish and also a deeper gloss, you reach for a glaze. And what this does is again, it fills in those tiny scratches and swirls to give you an overall smoother finish while also adding a deeper shine. But a glaze doesn't provide very much protection. So you want to add something like a sealant, a wax, or a combination of the two. And one of our most popular products is Jet Seal because this gives you a long lasting layer of protection up to 12 months with proper application. And this is going to give you protection on top of your glaze, your ceramic, but it's also going to make it harder for things to stick such as rail dust, bird droppings, dirt, and also your water spots. And then if you want more of a natural shine, you apply a wax. Now you can use a cream wax such as butter wet wax, a paste wax, or a spray wax. And what this is doing is it's going to add just a little bit more protection, but this is where you're really going to get your gloss. So those of you guys who are looking to enhance the shine of your vehicle, give it that warmer glow, adding a wax adds a natural carnauba, and this is going to give you that better all finish. These can be applied by hand or machine. If you choose to apply by machine, you want to use a soft finishing pad such as the black, blue, or the red Hexlogic pad using the lowest speed setting. And then you want to cover about 50% of your last pass. This way you're ensuring an even coat. And then you want to wait about 15 to 20 minutes for each coating to bond to the surface before buffing it off. And then lastly, we have our quick detail spray. And this is a commonly overlooked step because now that you've gone through all this, you're tired, you're fatigued, and you want to move on to just enjoying your car. But the last step, which I would recommend using is a quick detail spray. And this removes any kind of mist product. So just for example, let's say you've put on a glaze and you hastily wiped it off, but you missed a spot. If you leave it on there, you're going to drive away and all your friends are going to laugh at you when they see that tiny little square that you missed. So using a quick detail spray is just a professional way to remove anything that could have been left on the surface. It also removes any kind of fingerprints and it also removes any kind of dust. So this helps to give your car that detail, a professional look at the very end of the detail. And also you can use this in between your wash. So if you wash your car weekly with Mr. Pink, you can use this on any day during the week to remove any kind of light dust or water spots or bird droppings to again, keep your car looking its best for as long as possible. Now we know this was a pretty quick overview of the detailing flow chart, but we're gonna go over it one last time. So we're starting off with the wash. This is where we're going to remove anything that's on the surface, your dirt, your grime, and then you move on to the clay bar. For a newer car or a routinely detailed car, you use your light. For a car that gets, you know, driven daily, but it's not clay barred every six months or so, you'd use an OG. For something that hasn't been clay barred in a couple of years or it has more contamination in the pores of the paint, you'd use your medium. And then just a neglected paint job where it's completely thrashed or it's very rough, you'd use your heavy. And you want to use a dedicated lubricant such as clay luber. Now a lot of people ask if you can use soapy water and in a pinch I suppose you could, but it's really not doing you any favors with your clay bar and also the soap doesn't add very much lubrication when it comes to claying because you have microns of an inch or microns of uh, space between the surface of the clay bar and the vehicle. So you want something that's dedicated lubricant so that it actually drags it off the surface, not just pushes it along where it can cause scratches and marring. So again, dedicated lubricant's the way to go. Then you have your V-line of polishes, and this is where you're going to really bring out the luster of your vehicle, whether you have oxidation, scratches and swirls, staining in the paint. This is the way that you want to break it down, depending on what your car needs. So you have your compound all the way to your final polish. Then wipe out, again, this is going to remove any kind of last residues or anything that could block the pores of the paint. And then you have your ceramic coatings, which is our newer products, Hydro Charge and Hydro Slick. This is going to give you that long lasting durable layer of protection with that insane water beating action. Then your optional step of glaze, which helps to mask any minor scratches and swirls while also adding depth. And then a sealant, which is a man-made wax to give your car more longevity, more shine, and also more of that water beating effect. And then we have wax, which gives your car that natural warm glow and some more protection. And lastly, you have your quick detail spray, which removes any of the final products that you may have missed, any fingerprints, any light dust, or anything that could have landed on the surface as you were detailing. So guys, you can check out these products on our website, chemicalguys.com, or at your local detail garage. 
If you want more in-depth videos showing you any of the process, check it out on our channel. Drop your comments down below for future videos, and we'll see you guys next time.